After breast and lung cancers, the large bowel cancer known as colon cancer ranks number three, accounting for 1.9 million cases worldwide. It mainly comes from a benign clump of cells so-called polyp. Some polyps become cancerous with the passage of time, causing colon cancer to develop. Screening tests especially colonoscopy have been very helpful in early diagnosis and removal of polyps. Plus, they can spot cancers at an early stage, when treatments work best. But, because of economic issues, screening tests are routinely used for individuals age 50 and above. So, what if you are below 50? Statistics have shown that around 10% of colon cancers are diagnosed in people under 50. Thereby, if you are young, or screening tests are not widely available in your country, you should be well aware of its early symptoms. In general, there are six early symptoms that warn you about colon cancer. The most common presenting symptom is changes in bowel habits. Nearly two-thirds of patients with colon cancer experience some degrees of changes to their bowel habits, including diarrhea, constipation, narrow stools and change in stool consistency. Anatomically, large bowel is made up of cecum, ascending, transverse, descending and sigmoid parts. Cecum, ascending colon and right half of the transverse colon make up right-sided colon, while left-sided colon consists of left half of the transverse colon, descending colon and sigmoid. This classification is super important, since right-sided and left-sided cancers exhibit different symptoms. In general, a change in bowel habits is more common in left-sided colon cancers, allowing us to spot them earlier than right-sided ones. Because of fragile blood vessels, many colon cancers bleed into the digestive tract. Left-sided cancers often present with fresh red blood in stool referred to as hematochesia. You may also notice hematochesia in the toilet or after wiping. Instead of hematochesia, bleeding from right-sided cancers causes melena. Melena is a black, tarry and sticky stool with a foul smell. In short, intestinal bleeding doesn't always look bright red, especially when comes from higher up in the bowel. Before going through the rest of the video, if you have found it helpful, please smash the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified when new episodes are released. A common complication of blood loss is iron deficiency anemia, causing extreme fatigue and weakness. Not always does colon cancer cause overt bleeding. Bleeding can be occult and producing no symptoms. In this case, blood loss remains unrecognized, leading to iron deficiency anemia. Iron deficiency is not always a sign of intestinal bleeding, since women of reproductive age routinely lose 30 to 60 milliliters of blood during their period. So, don't worry if you have iron deficiency anemia in your routine tests. But, if you are a man, or a postmenopausal woman with iron deficiency, you absolutely need colonoscopy to find the root of blood loss. Since cancer cells consume extra energy, you may lose weight unintendedly. In other words, if you lose weight without going on a diet or doing exercise, it can be a sign of occult cancer. Scientifically, at least 5% reduction in your body weight over a period of 6 to 12 months, is considered significant and requires further evaluation. Although not common, abdominal pain or cramps that don't go away is one of the manifestations of colon cancer. Occasional cramps now and then, are very common and do not need any evaluation. They are often due to stomach upset, bloating and certain foods. But, persistent abdominal pain, aches or cramps should not be overlooked at all. Blood infection with a certain bacterium called, Streptococcus bovis, is strongly associated with occult colonic malignancies. It's a gram-positive bacterium inhabiting human gut. In 25-80% of cases, bloodstream infection with Streptococcus bovis is associated with colon cancer or polyp. That's probably because, the cancer tissue provides a suitable environment for the bacterium to proliferate and thereby develop blood infection or endocarditis. In other words, any patient with Streptococcus bovis blood infection must be screened for colon cancer soon. Thanks for your watching. Please let me know the medical issues you are willing to know more about. Write them in the comments for me. Farewell.